All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an SEO report in SEMrush. So the first thing that you need to do to actually make your SEO report is you need to add the website as a project to SEMrush. So I've already made a video showing how to do that. You can click the link above if you want to go watch that. However, basically what you do is you hit create project and then you would enter the domain name and the project name and it would just make a project in your SEMrush account. Once you've got that done, the next thing I recommend you do if you want to integrate Google stats is to open your project and go and connect Google to this. So all you need to do is click on the project. You would go here. You would hit set up Google account and then it's going to give you the option to go and select your Google account and then select which project you want to add and also the Google search console. So Google Analytics, Google search console, you can add them. You just select them from the list. You hit save changes and it pulls all the data in from analytics and Google search console like you can see here. So you can see the users, the sessions and all this stuff in SEMrush. You don't have to leave it. And so now once that's done, you can go here on the left to my reports and you can actually make a report with this data. So in order to do that, you open my reports and then you can start either with one of these templates they give you or you can start with a new one from scratch. So I'm going to start from scratch for this video and I'm just going to show you an example of what you can do. So theoretically what you can do here is if you've set up position tracking and I have a video showing how to do that, I'll put a link above. You can set up position tracking and you can have the keyword ranking table. So basically what it's going to do here is you can set up a ranking report. So I'm just going to hit apply and you can see here now we've got the report showing the rankings for the current date or whatever date we set. And so what you can also do is then select other things from this list. So let's say for instance, we want to do Google analytics, we can set Google analytics metrics, right? And have a chart here as well. And so obviously you would select what you want So you'd select the right one, go through the list, hit apply. And so now you can have Google analytics data in here as well. I'm not sure why it's showing no data, but basically you can do that. You can pull that in. So let's say goal completions. If you want to track a uh, certain type of conversions, I think maybe because I've recently connected it, it might not be pulling the data in. it might take some time, but basically that's how you would add these. So normally when you add this, it would show up here as well. And so you would add all of the different ones that you want to add here. I mean, if you connect Google ads, you could theoretically do that. Google search console. Let's see if that one works. I don't know why these other ones are not working. But let's say search performance chart. Let's just add that one, see what happens. Yeah, so it's probably because I just connected it. But basically, it would show up here. And then what you could do is you add all the ones that you want to add, and then you just hit generate PDF report. And so now you can even set this to email you weekly or however you want, weekly, monthly, or whatever. I'm going to just undo that, but you can generate the report here and then download it. I'm just going to save that there, open the report. And as you can see now, we've got the report with all the stuff we just added. So these are obviously not showing yet again, because we had that issue. However, they would normally show up and that's it. That's how you make a report. You can add whatever you want to add into the report and then you can export it to PDF, email it to clients, do whatever you want to do with that. So that's basically it. That's how you set up a report in SEMrush. If you have any questions about this, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO and Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to get you results with SEO and Google ads, go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.